Hi Florence, welcome to Israel. I heard you have some complaints about Judaism or the way we observe Torah and the woman's position in this? <laughs> yes, um, I find that in my, at least in my own community where I was brought up, there is there are many restrictions placed on women that I find can be, um, can affect your sense of self, your sense of worth, and your sense of strength and identity as a woman. Okay. In a secular world, what you're saying might be true, but in the spiritual world, in the religious world, what you're saying is not true. Now, what you call these restrictions is like this fence here. Mm -hmm. That's there for a very good reason. Even though we're not there now, it could protect us and save our life. Right. Now, men and women in the Torah are not equal. Men and women come from the same man, Adam. And now they come back together when they get married and they don't become equal partners. They become one body, one person. Mm -hmm. So our job is not to see that we're equal. Our job is to see that you fulfill your potential the best we possibly can. Yes. Now, you are a woman and you're a Jewish woman. Mm -hmm. We want you to fulfill that role. Right. So in order to fulfill that role, we have to protect you. We have to treat you in a special way. There's nothing more precious in the world to a Jewish man than his wife. Right. Now, women have some advantages over men. Women are more spiritual than men because their role is more spiritual in some ways than a man's role. Mm -hmm. But men have some advantages over women. We're stronger, so we do more in the outside world where the woman is not physically so strong. So she is sheltered in the home. Mm -hmm. In my community, the woman is a treasure a man treasures his wife as much as he does his own life. Mm -hmm. Now, as wonderful as the Jewish people are in the world, for all the good that we do in the world, what makes a person a Jew? You know? His mother. Uh -huh. That's true. It's up to you to bring Jewish people into the world. Mm -hmm. This is why Jewish women are so spiritual. And when you give birth to a baby, he becomes a Jew because of you. Immediately after the Holocaust, the rabbis saw that a lot of Jewish children were put into institutions and they were told that they were Christians to save their life. So these rabbis wanted to go and try to rescue them. So they went to the orphanages and they said, we want to check and see if there's any Jewish children here we can bring home. They said, okay, you can do it. So they go in and they couldn't find any, couldn't find any. He said, look, it's enough already. Okay, give us just five minutes so we can find these children if we can. But let us give, give us the five minutes when you put them to sleep at night. Okay. They came back that night when all the children were all in one big room and bunk beds, and they went going to sleep, and the rabbi said, Shumai, Israel. <laughs> and that baby started crying. Mm -hmm. They said, that's a Jewish baby. Wow. And that baby started crying. Now, and that baby, these are Jewish babies. Now, where did they learn the Shema from? Your mother. Now this is what you came into the world to do, to make a Jewish people. I can't do that. Only you can. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs>